Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about choosing a text editor for HTML. Now, whenever you're writing HTML, you're actually writing it inside of what's called an HTML file. So this is a file, just a lot like a text file, but instead of a .txt or a .docx extension, we have a .html extension. So with HTML, you're basically just writing these HTML files and then your web browser is able to take those files and display them as web pages. And it's sort of this really cool thing. But the first step in writing HTML is picking some program that you can use to write these HTML files in. There's a bunch of different options when you're trying to choose an HTML text editor. And I think a lot of times it can get a little bit confusing or maybe even a little bit overwhelming just because there's so many options and so many people have different opinions on which is the best editor and you know what's the best thing for beginners to do. In this video, I just wanna give you an overview of like what are your options and then maybe give you some recommendations as far as like where to start. So with HTML text editors, really all you need is just a simple text editor. So any text editor that you have, which is capable of editing files and saving them in different formats is gonna work for you. And generally when you're writing HTML, you don't wanna use like a word processing program. There's a lot of word processors out there, uh, you know, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, LibreOffice. These are like these big word processing programs. And this is generally not something that you want to use. So you don't want to be typing out your HTML inside of a you know Microsoft Word. That's um, kind of an overkill. When you're writing HTML, the simpler, the better. So a lot of times for beginners, people will recommend that you use the just very simple text editor that you have on your computer. On Windows, it's gonna be Notepad. On Mac, it's like text edit. And these are just the bare bones, simple text editors. And it's actually more than enough that you need to write HTML. And so, like I said, generally for beginners, writing HTML in something simple like Notepad or TextEdit really forces you to focus on writing the HTML. And, and you have to type out every single line and you have to really look to make sure that everything's formatted correctly. And it, ultimately, it'll just help you to really grasp the fundamentals. But if you're somebody who doesn't want to use like Notepad or TextEdit, you can actually use a specially designed program. And there's a bunch of these programs out there which are specially designed to write HTML in. And some of the popular programs, uh, there's one called Atom, Sublime, Brackets, uh, Text Wrangler, WebStorm. There's a bunch of these different programs that have been developed by different companies. And you can go online and do a bunch of research, but Essentially what these are are programs that are specially designed to help you write your HTML. So they'll take the HTML and they might display it differently. They might give you the ability to use like add-ons or different features that will make writing HTML a little bit easier. But as a penalty for that, they're also a little bit more complicated to use. And so, like I said, generally for beginners, like the less complicated things are, the better. So you may want to err more on the side of doing something simple. And then once you learn HTML, move up to one of these other programs. I want to show you sort of the difference in what uh, these might look like. So over here I have text edit, and this is just the default like text editor on Macs. So if I open this, you'll see here I have this file, and this is actually an HTML file. So inside of this file, I have written a bunch of HTML, and this is like the simplest HTML document you're ever gonna see. But this is what writing HTML would look like in something like this. And so if I wanted to add some more HTML down here, I could just type it out. And you know, it, it's very simple. There's nothing to configure, there's nothing to add on. You just sort of write out your HTML. But something more complicated would be a program like this. This is called Atom, and this is one of those text editors I was talking about. And this makes it a, you know, a little bit easier for you to write the HTML. You can see it's formatted a little bit differently, right? So this is the same code, by the way. So over here, these little tags are colored. This is colored up here. So there's different colors. Generally, programs like this will allow you to choose different themes. So I could you know, make the whole look and the feel of this different. So there's a lot of really cool options and configuration options that you can use with a text editor like this. But what you also need to understand is writing HTML in this is doing exactly the same thing as this doing. Functionally, these are the same thing. They're just, you know, it's an environment for us to write HTML in. So here's my recommendation to you. I would definitely recommend, and a lot of people recommend this, starting with a simple text editor like this. It doesn't have to be um, text edit, but it can be something simple. And 
the whole idea is that the simpler the better. When you're first learning HTML, you don't want to have to worry about, you know, configuring different things or working with some heavy text editor. You know, using something light and simple like text edit is just going to allow you to focus on the HTML. And then once you have a grasp for writing HTML and you really feel comfortable doing it, then you can move up to a program like this. Now, obviously that's just my recommendation. You don't have to listen to me. Uh, and if you do want to choose a program like this, um, definitely do your research, try out a couple different programs, see which one fits for you. You're going to hear a lot of people online saying like this text editor is the best or that one's the best. You know, people always get into little fights about those things, but the best text editor is the one that is right for you. And so it's the one that you enjoy using the most. Don't listen so much to what other people are saying. The best way to pick is just to try a bunch of these different text editors. And as you go through this course, even you can try a bunch of different ones and see how you like using each one. But again, for beginners, I would recommend starting simple. HTML is a really simple language. And so the less you can bog it down with like all these plugins and add-ons and themes, like the better it is. Because with web development and just programming in general, it's usually the simpler and the more straightforward something is, the better it is. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.